In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys four of my top favorite Canadian dividend stocks. And in today's video, we're going to be focusing on all types of dividend stocks. We're going to be focusing on stocks with yield as well as stocks that are focused on growth. And I honestly believe in Canada here, we have some of the best dividend stocks in the world. That's why I'm such a big fan of dividend investing. If you would like to follow my journey as a dividend growth investor, be sure to check out my case study series of me building a dividend growth investing portfolio completely from scratch. And if you guys stay until the end of today's video, I'll give you guys a full update on my own personal dividend growth portfolio on Wealth Simple Trade. So you might be asking the question, what really makes a good dividend stock? Now, everybody's going to have a different opinion about this, but these are the things that I like to personally look for when it comes to dividend stocks. So I like companies that are constantly growing on a regular basis. I also like companies that are increasing their revenue and their earnings. And it's important to look at companies that have decent payout ratios and free cash flows. You want to have companies that have a lot of money and room to grow their business and their dividends. I like companies that are expanding and growing their business over time. And of course, as dividend investors, we want companies that are growing their dividend at a decent rate. I like to look at stocks that are growing around that 10% dividend growth rate on an annual basis. If you guys are just getting started, I would highly recommend that you guys focus on some dividend-based ETFs. These guys are perfect for beginners, especially if you're just getting started. I've done a few videos on dividend ETFs on the channel, so be sure to check those out if you guys want some more information. If you guys are more experienced investors and you're looking to build out your portfolio of individual stocks, here's some stocks you might want to take a peek at. So the first stock we're going to be talking about on the list is going to be CNQ. That's ticker CNQ, Canadian National Resources. It currently has a dividend yield of about 4.32%. Payout ratio of about 52%, which is pretty nice. means it's paying out 52% of its earnings in a dividend. And it has a five-year dividend growth rate of 21.55%. That's a pretty huge dividend growth rate. Canadian National Resources has been on a little bit of a rocket ship since the start of 2020. The stock has seen very impressive growth and now has a lot of revenue in cash from its previous operations. And I'm always a big fan of companies growing their revenue and having free cash flow over time. Here's a quick little graph where we can see the different increases of CNQ's cash flow over time. So we can see even though as the company is growing in terms of earnings and expanding, and you know even if interest rates are going up, we can still see the company actually has some pretty healthy cash flow. So even though 2020 was a pretty rough year overall for most stocks, and the past couple of years have been pretty rough for some of the Canadian markets, especially this year. CNQ has continued to do well, and we've seen some pretty impressive dividend growth as well. CNQ does seem to be trading at a fairly high price as of right now, but given its low PE ratio and high earnings, it makes sense. I feel the stock has a lot more room to grow. So if your portfolio is in need of a good long-term oil and gas company, you might want to look at Canadian National Resources. And I personally recently opened up a new position of CNQ inside my dividend growth-based portfolio. If you guys want to see my portfolio or all the stocks I hold, be sure to check them out on Blossom Social. The second stock in this list that we're going to be covering is going to be good old-fashioned alimentation Kush Tar, that's ticker ATD, ATD on the TSX, currently has a dividend yield of about 0.8%, payout ratio of 13.73%, and a whopping 5-year dividend growth rate of 23.43%. Over the past five years, Alimentation Kushtar has seen some pretty impressive growth as well as some pretty impressive dividend growth as well. So ATD has been one of the best performing stocks inside my portfolio for a long time now. The company has been able to acquire new stores, build their, build their company, as well as manage their money effectively. Even though ATD is more of a dividend focused company, its double digit dividend increases are very attractive to dividend growth investors such as myself. In fact, I think ATD is one of the best dividend growth rates companies when it comes to all the Canadian stocks on the market right now. Here's some cool little financial highlights of ATD over the past year from 2022 to 2023. And here's the different growth in the different regions. So we have tremendous growth of Alimentation Kushtar in the US as well as Europe, which is really nice to see. And Canada is actually the lowest. So this company is actually growing lots internationally. Again, another big reason why I'm a fan of international stocks. Here's the different types of way they make money. So they make money from mer merchandise and service revenues. Um, here's some fuel revenues here as well. And then here's some other net earnings and free cash flows here at the bottom. But the main thing to keep in mind here is that we see growth. We see an increase in merchandise and service revenues from 22 to 2023 by a 4% increase. Gross profit increase about 4.9%. Fuel revenues is up 17.8%, so that's a significant increase. Gross profit, 15%. And then if we go down here to the net earnings and from free cash flows, we see consistent growth year over year. And depending on the type of investor you are, don't be fooled by companies with low dividend yields. Low dividend yield companies can be some of the best dividend growth based companies you can actually buy into. Make sure you do your research and if growth is right for you, then you'd want to look at companies with lower dividend yields. And with great earnings, great revenue, and a company with a very low payout ratio, that dividend growth rate is going to definitely have a lot of wiggle room in the future. So the company has tons of room to grow, tons of, of space to basically expand its operations. I think ATD is going to be one of the best dividend stocks over the next couple of years. So if if you guys want to add a good quality growth slash dividend stock inside your portfolio that's a consumer defensive stock, take a peek at Alimentation Kushtar.
and it wouldn't be a Canadian dividend stock list if we didn't include at least one bank stock on this list. Now personally, I'm a pretty big fan of all the Canadian bank stocks and I like them all. But in today's video, we're going to be focusing on RBC, that's Royal Bank of Canada. Canada's one of their biggest and oldest bank stocks in terms by market cap. So that's Royal Bank of Canada, RBC, ticker is RY on the TSX. Currently has a dividend yield of about 4.41%, so it's a well-established dividend stock. Has a payout ratio of about 52.25%, and has a five-year dividend growth rate of 6.24%. Now keep in mind, during the pandemic, they weren't able to increase their dividend, so it's a little bit lower for that five-year growth rate. So one of the big concerns about the banks and other companies in Canada right now is rising interest rates. Now one of the nice things about banks like RBC is that they have a nice diversified revenue stream to combat this problem. I'm always a big fan of diversified companies that are expanding internationally and a lot of the banks in Canada are doing just that. RBC has a lot of international exposure and that's the key to consistent growth and a company growing its revenue. It also helps protect the company when one revenue source isn't doing so well. RBC has been growing at a pretty conservative yet consistent rate over the past couple of years. The company has done well and the reason why is because of this. Our Canadian banks have some of the best dividend yields of all dividend stocks in Canada and they do a pretty darn good job at growing them on a regular basis. RBC is no different here. So if you guys want to add a bank stock to your list, you might want to take a peek at RBC, that's Royal Bank of Canada. And the fourth stock we're going to be focused on in this list and in this video is going to be Canadian National Railway. That's uh, ticker CNR on the TSX. Currently has a dividend yield of about 2.06%, payout ratio of around 40%, and a five-year dividend growth rate of 11.6%. So for starters, Canadian National Railway, or CNR, is one of the largest railway companies in all of North America. So here's a cool little interactive graph from the CNR website that I pulled up for you guys. So this red line here is going to be CNR, and you can see the railroads go all the way from the western side of Canada, all the way to the eastern side, and even down to the south inside the United States. So this is a big chunk of North America that CNR covers. CNR is another company that has a fairly low dividend yield from a dividend investor standpoint. But remember, this makes, creates lots of opportunities for the company to grow, as well as increase that dividend over time. The company has more free cash flow to react to different things going on in the market to grow their business and of course to consistently grow that dividend over time. Here's a quick little recap of all the recent dividend increases for CNR over the past five years. So in 2018 we've seen an increase of 10% for CNR for its dividend. In 2019 we see a whopping 18% dividend increase. In 2021 we've seen an increase of 7%. Keep in mind it did miss its dividend increase in 2020 but it more it more it even more so makes up for it by increasing its dividend by another 19% in 2022 and then an 8% follow up in 2023 for this year. Now here in Canada, we don't have a lot of passenger railways. Our railroads are more focused on delivering freight across the country and our country is very dependent on uh, these goods and services. So this makes companies like CNR or the railroad companies some of the most essential com companies to our economy. And at this point in time in the video, I want to ask you guys, what are your favorite dividend stocks? Are there any dividend stocks inside this list that I didn't list here? If there are some dividend stocks you would like to add to this, be sure to let me know in the comment section of today's video. All right guys, so here's my dividend growth portfolio. I promise you guys I do a quick little overview inside this video. Now I'm not going to do a deep dive inside my my entire portfolio because I did do that in the last video. Instead, in today's video, we're just going to be focusing on my dividend growth portfolio in my RRSB account. So once again, this is an update I do on a weekly basis. So be sure to check out those videos if you guys want to see how we built this portfolio completely from scratch. But right now, I'll just to give you guys a quick little update on the on the returns here. So the past week, the portfolio is down negative 1%. That's $4.74. Obviously, it's a pretty small portfolio. We only have less than $600, but it's going to be growing over time. The one month return is down negative 1%. And of course, it's going to be more or less the same since this portfolio has only been, uh, we first started building it in July 15th. So it's been about a month or so since we first uh, set it up. Now, here's a quick little peek at the stocks inside the portfolio, and I'll give you guys a quick little update on them. So the very first stock we bought was A Limitation Custard ATD, one we talked about in today's video. It is currently at 5.58% inside our portfolio, so we've seen a nice little return from that. It actually has done well when a lot of the other Canadian stocks have actually dipped down quite a bit. CNQ is sitting about more or less the same, 0.36%. So it's kind of doing its thing. We bought some CNR as well, down about negative 2%. The railroads did dip a little bit over the past little while. We also bought Dollarama. And, and you can see here that some of the consumer defensive stocks, hence why they're called defensive stocks, perform really well uh, regardless of what's going on in the markets. These stocks are pretty consistent. And we bought Dollarama. Dollarama and ATD, Island Haitian Kustar, are our two consumer defensive stocks that we have right now inside of our portfolio. And the last stock we have uh, is one of the banks. Now, it's not RBC like we talked about in today's video. It's actually TD. That's the Toronto Dominion Bank. And this one's down negative 6%. The TSX overall uh, is down quite a bit. And some of the financial stocks are kind of got hit the worst over the past little while. So nonetheless, you know, I just think it's a good buying opportunity. So if you're looking at some of the banks and a bank like TD or RBC um, did go down quite a bit, it might be a good time to buy them right now. 
So anyways, that's just a quick little overview of my dividend growth portfolio. If you guys have any questions about it, let me know in the comment section of today's video. So that's my top four dividend stocks in Canada to buy right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel. Take care guys, and I'll see you later.